What are the areas that you think Maharashtra has a particular competitive advantage? Well, historically, it used to be things like automobiles, but also in the new disruptive technologies that are coming, AI and blockchain, are these some of the sort of areas where you think Maharashtra can, can really position itself? I think uh, uh, not just Maharashtra, but uh, the whole world is changing because of the uh, disruptive technologies. And, and Maharashtra, of course, is, is leading the way because now we are in the era of AI. Maharashtra was the first state which started a, a center of excellence in AI in the Mumbai University in 2018. Recently, we have partnered with Google and we are creating one more uh, a center of excellence with Google in uh, uh, IIIT Nagpur, uh, which will be uh, one of its kind center. So, you know, Industry 4.0 and Technology 4.0, Maharashtra has been leading the way. And I feel that uh, uh, in, in years to come, the entire governance model will change. Prime Minister Modi ji has already put us on uh, a digital transaction roadmap. Today, we can see that the entire delivery system of India has changed. It has become leak-proof because of use of technology. And now, uh, you know, with uh, uh, blockchain technology, things are going to change. I, I always say that uh, our collectors, our uh, collectors in, in, in all states, they are custodians of our record. And half of their time goes into taking the hearing of uh, land belongs to whom, what is the title. But tomorrow when the record goes into blockchain, they have not, nothing to do. I mean, uh, it's, it's a auto process where, you know, you cannot tamper with the record. You cannot, uh, uh, you know, change the records at your whims and fancies. So technology is changing uh, all the things. I mean, tomorrow we can actually manage the life cycle of human being using the technology. Today also, in silos, we are doing that. So from birth certificate to death certificate, from his uh, social security to uh, his accounts, everything is digitized in silos. So tomorrow, once we connect all these things, then uh, the things are going to change. And I, I see we are heading towards that. Maharashtra is heading towards that. Uh, recently, we actually created in Mumbai, uh, Mumbai Metro City uh, Metaverse. It is, it is one platform where actually four of our iconic projects are put. And with the use of uh, 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 virtual reality, you can actually navigate into those projects. But using that platform, I see a day that uh, in, in very recent one or two years, the entire Mumbai will be on Metaverse platform, where even BMC has to uh, you know, give approval to one plan. It will not be a static approval on a, uh, something created by architects. It will be a 3D model. It will be absolutely a building which will be totally created as it will be built. And all the infrastructures and all the amenities which are to be provided would be actually, you know, showcased on the metaverse. So right. that is the disruption which, is, which the technology is bringing. And I think the technology has potential to actually reach the remotest area. Today, when we talk of, uh, you know, good healthcare system, uh, we talk of good uh, education, it is a technology which is going to provide it to the last man of the society. See, we cannot send a very trained doctor to very remotest area. He will go there, but he will not stay there. But now technology has potential to connect the last man to, uh, you know, this uh, trained doctor. And that's what we are doing. So I think, so far as technology is concerned, we, we have always stayed ahead. And uh, we'll, we will be staying.